You see him across a crowded room and finally get up enough courage to talk to him. You both hit it off and make plans to go out on a date. Your date is everything you thought it could ever be and you can't wait to see him again. But then he never calls. Our guests today want to know why. I'd like you to meet our first guest, Tondra. She's 23 years old and from Muskegon Heights, Michigan. She says she went on a date with a guy named James and she had sex with him because she thought they were starting a relationship. But after <laughs> he got what he wanted, he never called again. Mm. Now that's rough. Yeah. Tondra, how did you meet him? Well, I met James um, through a friend mm -hmm. and he tried to talk to her, you know, they exchanged phone numbers, we were roommates and everything. Um, he, they exchanged phone numbers, he called up. Wait, 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 you mean he, he was talking to your roommate first? Right, oh, but okay. he hadn't met me yet, but okay. she didn't like him, you know, so mm -hmm. I'm feeling sorry for him. Um, he called up, talked to her, and she gave him the wrong phone, the wrong address. And he's just riding around town looking for the address. In the meantime, she left, so he calls back. I can't find the house and all this and that. I said, well, she don't like you. You know, she just <laughs> don't like you. Obviously, <laughs> she had him. Wait, she had him ride around town just aimlessly thinking, oh, that's terrible. Right. And so I felt sorry for him. Yeah. And um, he was like, you have a nice voice and everything. Um, I'd like to meet you. <laughs> Yes. Um, I said, okay, so you can come over for just a little while. You know, when he came, he liked me. And um, from then on, we would talk to each other for about um, twice a week, every week, you know. For how and long? For about four months. We were just talking on the phone. That's it. And so um, this one particular time he called me up, I'm coming up. I want to know if I can come spend the night with you, the weekend, whatever. And he comes over. Um, we had a nice time. We watched movies, ate pizza and all that, you know. We went to bed, woke up the next morning. <laughs> she was like, it was all detailed. Then she like, never went to bed, woke up and, <laughs> and what happened? Um, the next morning, um, he took me out to lunch and he left. When he was getting ready to leave, he said that he would call me back and he never called me back. <laughs> Now, something must have happened that you skipped over here. I mean, you went to bed, you woke up the next morning, everything was cool? Yeah, everything was, was like... fine, and I was asking him, was he comfortable and everything, and, mm -hmm. you know, he kept reassuring me everything was fine. But I just want to know why I didn't get that phone call, you know. Did y'all have a good time that night? Yeah, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, <laughs> he took you out to lunch. Y'all had a pleasant lunch? Yes. Well, I can understand it because, you know, we may have thought that initially, you know, you met this guy and you went to bed with him immediately, but you all were phone friends for four months. Yeah. So it's not like you didn't know him. Right. So just out of the blue, he stops calling you? What was that like? I mean, it was, it was okay. I mean, I was like, all right, let, let him go on and whatever. I still have a pause. I'm still breathing. You know, I'm not dead as a result of this. You know. Did you try to call him? I tried to call him like three times, and after mm -hmm. the third time, I didn't call anymore. What? What did, he, did you get him those three no, times? No, no. I had a um, pager, his voice oh. pager, and I left a voicemail or whatever. Were you hurt by that? Not really. Ooh, the ringing phone. Yeah. I think you better get that, Tondra. Okay. Hello. Tondra, baby. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to call? No! So here it is. Is that, call? The call you, is that the call you've been waiting for? Who is that? It's James. You want me to call, so here it is. Yeah, okay. Well, James, come on out here. Let's see what you look like, baby. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. But uh, part of our audience was booing you here. Hey, it's Having cool. a good old time. Oh, like, boo. Believe me, I got some stuff to tell you. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because it's, oh, I hope so now. Oh, yes, girlfriend, I do. Oh, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> well, bring it. Now, can I send a couple shouts out real quick, if you don't mind? Do we want to hear it, audience? Yeah. All right, first of all, let me just send a shout out to my mom and my daddy back in Benham, <laughs> Michigan. <laughs> oh, oh, real quick. Oh, real 
real quick, real quick. Now, I go to Western Michigan University. What's up to all the dogs and Stinson <laughs> oh, and all that? Oh, let me tell you the story. Now, That's now, I say. may let you do a few more if you tell me why you didn't call Believe such me, a lovely lady as Tondra. Believe me, I will. Mm -hmm. First of all, let me tell you what really happened. We oh. did, she did is right. I did meet her roommate, and her roommate did go out playing like that. But when I called her the next day, she was like, James, you know, um, basically it's not that, it's just the fact she's just got a long-term relationship, and the guy was real <laughs> abusive or whatever, and you know, she just, isn't really, really ready to go ahead and talk to nobody, so she'll do this with guys. So I was like, okay, cool. Go ahead and call her. We go ahead and hook up, Tempest. Just keep, and I, my boy brought me by there. That's another thing. He brought me by there, and when we got over there, she was like, you can't stay long, because I got a boyfriend. You can't stay long, you gonna be back over here. Remember? Tondra? <laughs> and my boy, oh, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all. So my boy, he was like, come on, man, come on. I was like, yeah, man, we gotta go. Cause she like, you know, she got a man, so she like, we keep in touch. So I called, she right, I did call, and I call, and let me tell y'all she do me. I go ahead and call, I gotta go, I got company, my man here, bye, click. Oh. Tondra, Tondra, no, you I'm know, lying. I did not do you right, like boy, that. Let me tell you the rest, 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 let me true enough, yeah. I'm not, hey, yes. Tondra's a very nice young lady, very yes. pretty and everything. We go ahead, to sum it up, I go ahead and come on down there, driving in a snowstorm, driving down there and everything. I get down there, she go ahead, her phone messing up. So finally when we hook up, we go ahead, we go out to eat, kick it, play cards, got drunk. We go ahead next day, go to Ponderosa. Her girlfriend was out there. <laughs> and her girlfriend went to church. And she said her girlfriend was like, hey girl, come here, come here. Wait a second. Oh, now, this is, is this the night of the date or the next this day? This is the next day. Let me tell you. Now, wait a second. You skipped over a very vital thing there. Yeah. What, the night? <laughs> oh, the night? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the night we kicked it. We played cards, kicked it, drank. You mean the sex part? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ain't well, gonna lie. Well, you don't have to get graphic. I ain't gonna get graphic. But I want to know why you didn't call. Did you not enjoy yourself? Oh, no. Everything was cool. It was cool. <laughs> <laughs> she was down. <laughs> For real. But what yes. happened was I just felt it'd be best to just go ahead and be friends. Tondra, I don't understand. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You have a boyfriend. Why are you worried about if he's gonna call you back? Thank I mean, you, you, girlfriend. And how's he gonna have respect for you after you slept with him the first time? Hey, 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 she well, at the time when boyfriend. I first met up with James, I did have a boyfriend. I had a boyfriend, but we broke up in this four-month time period, you she know. Right. But, and another thing I'd like to say, I was not um, looking forward to just making this a long-term relationship with me and James. I was just considering us as, you know, like being friends. That's it. I mean, I, I really don't think it's too much, Tondra, to ask, why didn't I get a phone call? You don't think that's too much to ask, do you? No, I don't. That's why I want to say this now. So when I did go ahead, and Tondra did go ahead, she didn't have a boyfriend. You know, so when I go ahead and come down, the point that bothered me was, see, when I had stopped calling, that was during the period when her and him broke up. Mm -hmm. So then I got a page saying James to call. So when I call, what do I hear? James, me and him broke up. And so then I came down. You see what I'm saying? Yes. And so when I did come down then, and when I did stay the night, I didn't expect that. You know, if I'd have known it was coming to this, I'd have sent a postcard or something, you know, <laughs> a letter or something. You know, I didn't know it was going to be but like But wait this. a second. <laughs> you weren't a helpless victim now, James. Yeah, you know, I ain't saying I am. <laughs> but what I am saying is that I just didn't know that it bothered her. You and know? afterwards, you really didn't want any more? Who, me? You didn't want any more than, you didn't want a relationship? You didn't want to talk to her anymore? No, I mean, Tondra's cool, you know, I ain't, we, I ain't look now. Tondra and I are friends and everything, but what it was, I guess, to see, I'm about to graduate from college. I had already set out and came back. So my mind really was on school. She didn't tell you, I don't think, we're at distance apart, about an hour and a half, two hours. So, you know, she would be busy, I guess, with her and her kids and work and everything, and I'd be busy with school and everything. See, so you found time to call her before. I know. The night. Twice Tundra, a week. Didn't he? Twice, Twice a week. But I asked Tondra what happened about her coming up to visit me. Well, doing those four months. Okay. What? Well, it's like in the wintertime, I don't go anywhere. And we have bad winters, you oh, know, oh. snow just blowing here and there. And I'm in the house. Unless but James, I have to come go on down. No, huh? <laughs> James, you come on down, boy. Come on, girlfriend. Come on now. <laughs> but when you call me. Uh, well, James. <laughs> And Tondra, even though we've gotten a few more details than, than I expected in this story, I want to know if you guys will consider going out again. Don't tell me. There are some cards underneath your chair with some pens. I'd like you to write down yes or no. 
Don't let each other see it, and don't let us see it. And a little bit later on the show, we're going to find out their answer. That sounds like a little bit of fun. Why you ain't telling about what happened at Ponderosa? Take the cards. Uh, but I do want to hear about that a little later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. What's up? What's up? Go ahead. Hey, audience, uh, you think James should go out with Tondra again? No. No? Stand up for me, no. If I was her, I wouldn't even waste my time, girlfriend, because all he wants is the sex and leave. Girlfriend, Ooh. hold up. Well, we're going to find out what Tondra writes on our card a little bit later. Next, a girl who went on a date and didn't give in to sex. Is that the reason why the guy never calls again? Find out next. If you don't like someone after the first date, do you just never call them again? Or is it a common courtesy to give the person a call and be honest with them? I'd like you to meet Sonia. She's 23 years old and from Long Island City, New York. When she was in college, she went out on a date with a guy named Carlos to the movies and had a great time until the very end of the date, and then she never heard from him again. Sonia, what happened? Well, let me tell you, Tempest. This guy, Carlos. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> After the movies, the movies and the, um, the time I have him, it was real nice. He's a real nice person. Now, wait, wait, wait. Tell me exactly what you did on the date. Okay, we went to the movies. Uh -huh. And then, like, for spare time, we went to the Marriott. But when I took him to the Marriott, I said... Cause the it Marriott was cold. Hotel? The Marriott Hotel, yes. It was real cold outside. <laughs> so I said, well, let's go to the Marriott and, you know, get warm. We could talk in the lounge and everything. We could talk and get to know each other a little bit better. Uh-huh. So then um, after we was talking and getting to know each other a little bit more better, he said, well, I want to go and lay down. So I said, go lay down. What's up? <laughs> so then he says, well, I know this nice little spot I could go, we could go to. So I said, okay, let's go. So we go to this little, you know, hotel, little nice spot. Another hotel? Yeah, another hotel. Okay. <laughs> And um, we go in there. He, mm -hmm. he buys me something to eat. So he was in the bathroom, and I was out there. I was out in the other room eating. Mm -hmm. So um, he comes out with his boxes on. So I'm like, yo, what's up? <laughs> I thought you wanted to lay down. <laughs> right? So he comes out. He like, you know, get undressed. What's up? So I'm like, what you think is up? I'm coming here to eat. You came here to lay down. That's it. So then he was like, what, what, what? Get out of here, get out of here, yo, get out. <laughs> leave, leave, I ain't gonna never call you again. So I'm like, well, how am I gonna get home? Get home in the best way you know how. Oh. So I had my little token in my pocket. I get my little token now and I said, all right, fine. I get my pocketbook and I left. Well, and that's good. good. known each other before you went out this time? Um, about two to three weeks. So why do you think he did not call? Because I didn't give in to him. Really? Did you? The ladies? Ooh, I was going to ask you another question, but the phone's ringing. I think it's for you. Hello, who's this? Carlos. Yeah, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm saying this been like over a year and you just decided to call me. Yeah, I know you wonder why in court you should have gave up the goods, baby. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. So what do y'all think we better get him out here? Yeah. Carlos, come on out. I'm just looking around, you know? I get in the lay of the land. I can understand that. Now, you tell me, what happened on this date that you couldn't call this lovely lady back the next day? She left a lot of stuff out. What? what? did I leave out? All right. So we at the Marriott's. So we chilling, we talking, a lot of small talk. Is this after the movie? I don't remember a movie, but if she said we went to a movie, we went to a movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
I, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to, like, like I told your producers, I'm going to keep it real. Please keep it real. All right, so this is what happened. After the Marriott's, you know, we're doing a lot of little small talk, and, you know, things is going all right, you know? Holding our hand, you know, you know, little things. Y'all brothers know what I'm talking about. Know what I'm saying? There you go. All right. So then we leave the Marriott's, and we go downstairs, and I'm like, you know, what you want to do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like the typical, what typical women do, I don't know what you want to do. Oh. All right. So I said, you know, let's go to the hotel. I know this little hotel on 14th Street. So then when we get to the hotel, she leave a lot of stuff out when we at the hotel. Oh, just, you asked a question for me? What did I leave sure. out? He wants to, wants you to ask him a question? What you like? Excuse me. <laughs> Hello, maybe if you would have taken her to the Marriott, maybe she would have gave you a little something, but probably you took her to a cheap hotel, so she was like, I ain't giving her nothing. Know what she left out? She left out a lot of stuff. Right. So you get to the other little place that you All right, know. So she forget we stopped at the liquor store. What? She, we stopped at the liquor store before we went to the I hotel. I don't drink. So. All right. We stopped. Wait, at the... you don't remember stopping at the liquor store, Sonia? Did he, we stop at the liquor he, store? Yeah, he did stop at the liquor store, but I don't drink. He got something all to right. drink. Oh. So we all know liquor, hotel, getting nice Friday night. What's going on? What's going on? Go get your What's going to happen? Not with me. <laughs> so you get to I know, the... it didn't happen. So you get to the hotel, and she says she wanted some food, and you say you all want right. to lay down. Yeah, I just want, you know, I want to lay down and rest my head. Okay. But I ain't finished with my story, though. Can please, I go with my story, please? Please, please. Y'all can hold y'all questions. Oh, no. All right, so, um, we waiting for the room. They ain't have no regular rooms. So, yes. the, so, so the guy's like, you know, you got to get a deluxe room. So I made sure. I, I screamed it out kind of loud. I'm getting a deluxe room. <laughs> you know, that's extra money for a deluxe room from a regular room. So I made sure she heard I was getting a deluxe room. What did you room. expect for the deluxe room? You know what I mean? Because I'm a deluxe what, woman. What, what, <laughs> what did you buy her to eat? <laughs> Carlos, what did you get her to eat once you got out to the deluxe room? Oh, I guess what we got, what we had to eat? Yeah, little burgers, you know. You know, some sandwiches or whatever. I heard, it, I, heard it, I heard it was a $12 sandwich. Oh, that's what one of your producers told you, right? <laughs> well, yeah. you know, I hear Some things. lobster, seafood, some type of sandwich she ordered. Oh, no. That is cost it, like is it a $12. sandwich or is it lobster and seafood? That cost like $12. The so sandwich heard, cost $12. I heard you disappeared into the bathroom and came out no, in your boxes. No, that's a lie. No. That's a lie. No. No. She had her say. Can, can you tell her, you know, let me say what I'm going to you talk. Go ahead, All right. talk. So when we first get in the room, I'm I'm like, yo, let's go look at the jacuzzi. So we play with the jacuzzi. We get the water going. Let the Sonya, bubbles going up. Sonya, you left out the jacuzzi. Check it out. It was a jacuzzi, yes. It's more. She's fronting. She's something no. But I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I hate to rush you along. But tell me why you didn't call. Yeah, why you didn't call? Because he ain't getting up in here. That's why I got to explain my call. story. I, explain. No, I want to hear why you didn't call. Well, I, I felt that we were just on two different levels. We didn't want the same things from each other. <laughs> okay. Ooh. That's Ooh, no that reason not to call. Cool. Now, you got your answer, Sonia, so I'm going to ask you two the big question today. Would you all like to see each other again? Don't tell me. Reach under your chair. There's a card but in the I pen. I didn't finish my story. Did you kick her out of the room without any money? I didn't kick out the room. I said, I think it would be best if you leave. <laughs> Write your answer for me, Carlos. This, lend him your pen, Sonia. <laughs> Don't look. Don't show us. When we come back, we're going to find out what else Carlos has to say. <laughs> guys want to know why they get such a bad rap. Well, it's because a lot of ladies have gotten burned by guys once or twice, and then they're very skeptical about the next guy that comes into their life. I'd like you to meet Debbie. She's 33 years old and from Columbus, Ohio. She says that after being divorced for 10 years, she finally met the man of her dreams. They exchanged numbers, but guess what? He never called. Debbie, what happened? 
Well, I met him out at a nightclub one night, mm -hmm. and I gave him my number, got along real well. Um, he did call the next day, and then I was supposed to call him that Thursday. Mm -hmm. So I called him back. He gave me two different phone numbers, both long distance, and I called each one of them like two or three times, and he never returned a call. Now, you say this was the man of your dreams. What was so special about him? I don't know. He's, he was cute. He was nice. Mm -hmm. um, we got along really well, so... I just really want to go out with him. What did he say to you that first night to make such an incredible impression? He, d he just said he'd like to get together with me, and, you know, he thought I was really nice. We had a lot in common. Now, since you've been divorced for 10 years, have you had a lot of luck with guys? No. <laughs> None. Bad? I mean, do you go out at all, or are they yeah. always bad dates, yeah. or what? Just bad dates. <laughs> There's our phone. Pick it up for me, would you? Hello? Hello? Debbie. Yes? Hi, this is Rich. Uh, no way. You remember me? <laughs> uh, you're calling me now? Yeah. Well, why? <laughs> you never returned any of my other calls. Well, Debbie, you didn't know Rich was going to be here, but guess what? He's here now. Rich, no come on out. <laughs> Rich, Rich, how you doing? Good. Thanks. Thank you for coming out today. But you've got to answer the burning question that we've had. All the ladies here want to know: Why don't you guys call? What happened was, okay, yes. um, we were out in nightclub, and I'm hanging out with my brother. It's my brother's birthday. We're hanging out, and we're having a good time, putting some down. And um, some of her friends come over to the table and start chit-chatting with some of my brother's friends and whatnot. So Debbie gets up and she comes and she approaches me and we start chatting. She says, you know, I live in Zanesville, blah, 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 blah. And um, says, you know, we got a house and, you know, you're friends and you want to crash sometime, give me a holler. So I said, sure, give me your number. So, I mean, I'm pretty decent with numbers, so I go, okay, just, you know, tell me. So she gives me the number, I memorize it. and You didn't write it down? Hell no. 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 <laughs> Wait, why not? <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> you didn't. Ah, partial photographic memory. Oh, okay. <laughs> so anyway, you know, me and my brother, we take off, and the next day, I mean, I told her I'd call, and I called. And then what? You what? didn't like the conversation? Yeah, Why didn't you I mean, call again? We got along fine and everything, and mm -hmm. I mean, it was a nice conversation, and we have a lot in common. But I, you know, went back down to work and had a busy week at work and just transitioned to a new job, and... She called, and I was working long hours, and we never hooked up, and I pulled a little bit of a Johnny Mnemonic, dumped some gigabytes, and forgot her number. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> so just erase that number right out of your memory, huh? Did, oh, but... But? But I gave you my number on your machine every time I called, and when I called your mother's, I gave you no. the number. <laughs> I'll bring the tape in. The I never, not I there. never I got, did. I never got a number. That's what I was going to ask. You never left the number. How can I call if I, I don't know the number? I did leave you a number. Very mysterious. Do you believe him? Uh, yeah, it must have been. I just have a comment for all you girls. If you put the ball in the other court and you take the guy's phone numbers, then you can decide if you want to call him. Don't worry. So. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yes. I just wanted to say this. Now, I got three sisters. And I know already that they do the same thing. So I know all these women in this crowd can't be coming down all us brothers because we ain't done nothing that ain't no other woman ain't done herself. And oh, girl, I'm a girl. I'm a girl. Amen, brother. Oh, girl. <laughs> they spoke out against me. Baby, you ain't got to worry because I wouldn't ask you for your number in the first place. So it's straight. <laughs> Debbie, Rich, I want to give you the opportunity I've given the other couples today. I'd like you to take the cards from under your chairs and answer that burning question for us. Would you all like to go out again and give it another shot? Don't tell me. Take out your cards. Actually, it would be the fir for the first time with you guys. Yeah. Okay, now don't let anybody see it. And we'll find out a little bit later in the show. Next, they went out, she got drunk, and got sick, and he never called again. Find out why next.
I'd like you to meet our next guest, Courtney. She's 19 years old and from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She went on a date with a guy named Dan. She admits she drank a little too much and ended up so drunk she needed medical attention. But she says Dan didn't help or even call to see if she was okay. Now, Courtney, how did you end up so drunk that you needed medical attention? Well, I went to a date party with him, and we were a what? At a date party. Oh. He, he invited me. It was he needed to bring a date, and mm -hmm. um, we went. And uh, we, I didn't really know anyone there. I didn't really know him well at all. I just met him previously, like a week before at a party. He was a friend of my uh, friend. It was actually his brother, mm -hmm. and. Um, we were there and we were drinking. Um, one of his friends was making us mixed drinks, and I uh, wasn't really sure what was in it. And I um, was drinking a few of them, had a few shots, and you know, it was all. I was dancing and I was having a great time. He was really drunk. He, I was making fun of him the whole night. I was like, I can't believe you're so drunk. I was like, What happened to you? Like, I'm supposed to be so drunk, not you. It was totally bad. And um, the next thing you know, we were dancing, and I wanted to go outside. Get a little fresh air, and it was all downhill from there. I'm not really sure what happened. You don't remember? Not exactly, no. <laughs> so did you like this guy, or was it just the alcohol? Well, I'm not really sure if I liked him, because I didn't really know him that well. That was really our first time hanging out together, so. So what upset you that he didn't call you? Um, I just thought, I called him the next morning oh. to be like, OK, I'm fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, he didn't call me back. And I was just really pissed, because I thought that, like, you know, he, I deserved a phone call. Boom! Ah. There it is. Hello? Courtney. Ah. What's up? This is Dan. <laughs> hey, Ari, what are you doing? Courtney, you couldn't even remember we went out on a date. How am I going to ah. remember to call you? Oh! Dan, come on out here and tell us about oh it. Oh, my God. That you guys went out on a date, Dan. Well, when she called me up, she asked me, the first thing she asked me is, what happened last night? Ah. I, I mean, she had no clue what happened last night. I knew what happened. I just wasn't. Drunk too? Yeah. No. All right, I, I admit it. Yeah. I'm a toucan. I'm a, I'm a toucan. Oh. Well, ah. I admit it. I'm a toucan Sam. My friends call me toucan Dan. Uh -huh. yeah, but I mean, come on. I mean, she's in college, you know? She should know how to hold her own alcohol. Was that, did that, did that bother you? That she got sick? What bothered me was that she put me in a compromising position and, and, and an embarrassing position amongst my friends. Oh my God, who was making the drinks? Like, I have I wasn't no idea. I was making the drinks. Well, whatever, you should have known what was in them or you He was making the today. drinks. So, who? My roommate up there. <laughs> you were making those drinks, weren't you? Is it as bad as he says it was? Stand up for me. Well, um, it's not that it, was, it wasn't as bad as he says it was. Uh, let me just say, we were in a fraternity, and it was yeah. a fraternity party, and because of this, the brothers held him responsible for her actions. So, like, for the rest of the semester, he's being punished for her All actions. right. <laughs> <laughs> because I understand you all are not encouraging that people get so drunk that they get sick at your parties. Am I right? right. Wait, he was like, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> but why didn't you call to see if she was OK? I mean, didn't it even cross your mind to check on her? Well, maybe this poor little girl doesn't remember, but I, I, I spent the night and made sure she was OK. Uh, you plus. did? Yes, plus. I did. Oh, I did. You don't even remember ah. that? OK, <laughs> let, let's put it this way. There's, there's probably yes. a reason why she doesn't remember. Because when I asked her what day it was, she told me it was September. <laughs> wow. That's a very serious memory lapse. <laughs> but you know what I'm going to ask you to do now? I want you to take the cards from under your chairs and let us know if you would consider giving it another shot, Dan. Right. Courtney, don't let each other see the cards. When we come back, we'll find out what their answers are. <laughs> Why don't guys call after a great date? Well, our next guest says it's because they have no respect for women. I'd like you to meet our next guest, Kelly, who is 18 years old and from Columbus, Ohio. And also here today is Hans. He's 22 years old and from Westlake, California, who says it's not that men don't have respect for women. It's just a guy thing. Hans, a guy thing? How many times do I have to hear this? Well, it's always um, just a guy thing. Well, I mean, 
it's like you have to think about it. It's like there are three reasons why guys don't call girls back. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good. I mean, A, yes. either they're mentally screwed in the head. Yes. B, they have luggage, which has like a boy or, you know, they have a kid and, you know, well, they're, they they're kid, mentally they screwed they shouldn't have went out with her in the first place. Okay, wait, then C, or C, um, they have a psycho boyfriend, so you can't even touch them because they're a just A guy like, has a psycho oh, yeah. boyfriend? No, uh, the girl. The girl has a has psycho a, boyfriend. In all the dates that you've gone on that you didn't call the woman back, it was one of those three reasons that did it? No, my reason was totally something different. My reason was because, <laughs> my reason was because we went out, we had a really good time. Okay, I went out yes. to the movies with her, and, you know, I gave her a kiss goodnight, and... Um, Typical. Yeah, it's, it was normal. I gave her a kiss goodnight, and I told her I'd give her a call back. And I didn't call her back. And the reason why is because I was going out with the girl for a very long time, for three years, and it was a long distance relationship. And it was two years that was long distance, and then I just said, you know, oh God, I couldn't handle anymore. The first year it was, we were together, and then two years it was long distance. So I moved away. Do you always think you have a good reason when you don't call the ladies back? Yeah, well, I'll tell you, the reason why was because I felt at the time Hans, handle your business. You felt you were doing the right thing, didn't you? Now, James. Whoa, whatever. James, James, James. 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 No, how would you, you feel what? if you were very into a woman and you thought things were going just fine and you expected to keep in touch with her and she didn't return your phone call? You gotta get your beat on somewhere else. Hey, oh. no, no, no. So no, you're saying wait, don't take it personal? Oh, she was. No, she, she was. Furthermore, yes. Furthermore, me and, Ta and Tondra, in my case, when Tondra and I met, I didn't know, you know, first, I'm telling you, Tondra used to have that boyfriend, and she'd be like, James, I gotta go, buy click. So, I mean, you know, you ain't gonna forget stuff like that. So, James, why couldn't you call and say, I think we should stop seeing each other? Because you have, why that can't you just call and let us know what the problem is? Girl, I guess I'll just out get my groove on. See, that's I mean, I women just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> this, this question is directed to the young lady in the room, no. the white, um, Tondra. If you went to a hotel, what did you expect from the guy anyway? And he told you it would be, it would be best. He said he said it would be best to leave, so you left. And now you asked my man Biggie for one more chance. Pathetic. It's the 90s. No, no. You need, you need to grow up. You need to grow up. No, listen to me. Women should you give need us to grow up. To call learn how to use back. the phone. We didn't make the phone. Give me for a no reason, reason to call no. you back. And I, and I will call everyone. Put it this way. Day. If you have that attitude, give we don't want reason. you to call back. Give me a go reason. Ahead, Kelly. Think about this, okay? Go ahead, first Kelly. of all, first of all, I want right. to hear from Kelly. Go it's, ahead. You know, like I said, I mean, just grow up. Use the phone. I mean, if you're going to be man enough to take a girl out, treat her right, you know, you got you to gotta be man enough to say, you know, listen, I don't think this is going to work. You know, maybe we should just be friends. But no, so they, you know, they got to totally dish you and not call you back. Man. And people say, oh, you know. Deal with well, that. now it's the moment of truth. We want to know the answer to the question we asked earlier. So I'm going to start with you, Tondra and James. Do you all want to give it one more chance? Show us your cards together. Go. Yeah, I say what's up. I go out with Will you all be drinking? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. We are back. So I have some good news for our couples today who said they go out again. Okay. Courtney and Dan and Debbie and Rich, dinner is on us tonight at the Motown Cafe in New York City. Thank you very much to the Motown Cafe. 
like to thank all of our audience and our guests, and special thanks to the Motown Cafe once again. And guys, if you call us once, call us back. See you soon. <laughs>